Slow down, slow down. Just what are you sipping a cappuccino there? Yep. Hmm. In a couple hours, darling, we are gonna be wiping with pine cones, what? eating grubs and berries, sleeping underneath overturned logs. Hey, I packed the food. I know we're not eating grubs and berries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if times get tough out there, we're eating grubs and berries. We're in the Serengeti of the North. And special treat, we got Auntie Joy with us. She's here to Puff and huff. If he wants to go, just let him go. Whoa. <laughs> hey, does it feel like home? It feels grown up. Did you say I'm acting all grown up? No, I said it's grown up in here. Oh, camp. Look, but for the record, I, there's I a, am grown up. There's a yeah, there's a fire pit. Right here. How much damage did we incur? Not much. Not on you? Not on me. Yeah, we, we ripped a lot off of Julia. What did you do? You ripped your saddlebag. Ripped those off, you ripped the saddlebag. Ripped that that thing off there. Julia fixed the rip from the last trip. Hey, we're gonna be hunting within like an hour. Ugh. Gotta quickly pop some tents up and then hike this mountain. No, no we're not. Yeah, we are. No, you're not. That's is that actually, why you didn't tell us your plan yesterday? That's actually why we're in here, is to hike these mountains. So excited. Well, we got a camp set up here. Horses are happy. Kezi is happy. We're gonna get out and glass some hillsides. Now that's a fresh one. But it's still sticky, isn't it? It's hard. Yeah. It's like oh, cheese. You can see. Oh, Dad, there's milk everywhere. You hear that one? Yes, he's down. You hear that one? He's down. That might be it for tonight, but tomorrow morning we got some plans. That sounded a lot closer, right? Yes. We got this elk bugling, the one we've been listening to last night. I don't know, he's up here, it's thick timber, so... You can actually see his track right there. His pad, his toes. <laughs> Messy bears.
Well, that was a great first day. We chased a bunch of elk. Had some terrific food, thanks to Rose. Yes, excellent. <laughs> and now, a lovely little fire. They're called the Little Iron Horse. <laughs> The little I'm horse not that, joking. The little that. horse that could. <laughs> the Canadian horse is a symbol, but it's also like actually the combination of our French and English history. The best horses from France and the best horses from England mm. came here and they forged the wilderness. And lots of them died, but the ones that remained became their own breed. And for all our American friends, did you know that in the Civil War in the States, all of our Canadian horses were actually sold into the States oh. for the war? And it was the Canadian horses! They're like super Canadian! Le Cheval Canadien. Anyways, we're out here with horses, and we're going to see if we can't shoot something really big. this morning so we went for the like and now I guess we're having a little sleep is in here.
a hard time holding on him. I couldn't find him. <laughs> I seriously could not find him. There's mom and the girls and Auntie Joy up there somewhere. That's an unbelievable bull moose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's go look at him. <laughs> okay, just a second. Let's think clear today. We got horses, but this country, there's a couple steep, real steep, like to get up and over the ridge into this bowl. <sighs> okay, well, let's go look at him. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, there he is. Oh my. Oh, girls. What a giant. You won't be able to tip them up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that, he's got <clears throat> three on this brow. He's got four on this brow. Say this one is antlered girls? I think so. Under Probably. If it's the bill. Fine line though. Region. I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay. Let's take some knives to it. I was guiding one time. We shot a moose. And I'd always carried this big knife. You know, this was like my last. We're not allowed to hang guns up here. So like, what are you gonna do if you're being mauled by a grizzly bear? You need a big knife. Anyways, I was using this to cut up the leg of the knife. The leg. The leg of the moose, which is a super tough part of the hide. And I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm old and mature now. I'm not gonna cut towards myself. So I put my hand over here and I just pushed into that hide. And when the knife slipped, I fell over and supported myself like that and stabbed this knife right into my <laughs> forearm. You can see the knife cut, and then you can see all the stitches. <laughs> Big old double stitches. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, guys. <laughs> and, and then I kind of did this, and it was like this big mouth gaping at me. <laughs> We all survived. We're not we going to do that again, are we, lessons. Dad? I called at him and he stopped broadside. Uh -huh. And Julia was waving her gun around trying to find the moose. <laughs> He's that way. <laughs> and she just couldn't find him in the scope and then he kept running. So and grabbed the gun. So I, I had Abby's gun and so I, uh, I took a, a freehand shot of him running away at his neck. Yeah. And it hit him. And then I just kept shooting until he went down. Oh, Anyways, guys. hey. Do you love me now? <laughs> I don't think we do. Because <laughs> oh, if it. you do now, I'm wondering if you still will in about two and a half days. Two and a half days? Oh man, it's going to take forever to get this thing out. <laughs> you a big set of antlers though. Yeah, you got to no get it out. Doubt, eh? out. No doubt, eh? Oh, we are going to get the horses in here, girls. What? Oh yeah, horses hey, are coming right here. We to that. Yeah, we sure did. I got it on film. Right. Come on up, have a look, girls. This is maybe the biggest moose you'll ever get your hands on. Look at the meat, girls. I know. This is a meat animal. Like these things. Just till spring. <laughs> <laughs> just to spring. Yeah. This is pretty well a year's worth of meat. And if we get any other animals, we'll be in sharing mode. Okay. You guys gonna help now? Let's, now? Let's tie into it. Now. We've been working. Yep. Oh, because it kind of looked like you were just sitting up on that hill the last, for the last two hours. I thought you had hours. it skinned, gutted and skinned and ready to go. That's what we, we just saying. started cutting it. We were nervous, right? We were recounting the uh, the stabbing story. From... Yeah, don't stab yourself. Yeah, no stabbing up here, girls. 
Okay, there it is. There's our cache. We got the whole moose under there. Sun's already down, so it's cooling off rapidly. But uh, the sun's gonna be up in the morning over there. So that'll keep the sun off, and we'll be here as soon as possible, and hopefully with horses all the way. <laughs> you don't want the animal to suffer any more than it has to, yeah. and you don't want it to get away. You try and make, take your best first shot, and then you just keep shooting till that thing's down. This is the bullet. This is a Barnes. They don't pay me, but <laughs> I use these bullets exclusively. Do you notice how it looks perfect? There's no pieces missing because this bullet is solid copper. <whistles> yeah, there's no lead to fly away. This is a really good bullet. It's a little bit more expensive, <laughs> but if you don't want to waste meat, if you and, if you want the, and if you want the animal to die, then you need to use a really good bullet. Yeah. It's quite pretty, isn't it's, it? It's, yeah, it's like a flower. Yeah. It is just like a flower. It's like a little copper flower of death. <laughs> so these girls, t this is, like, they take this to heart. They know that this is their job, is to lead these horses safely right. up and down the mountain. It's steep and, and the brush and the tangle. Listen, if these girls weren't on side, this was not going to happen. There was no way. But there was enough girls on side that <laughs> we're doing it. So look at this. We did some damage to our saddlebag on the way in here. Peeled it wide open. So we're inventing a little field repair. And thanks to Joy, who carried a nail in here for some reason. A staple. <laughs> a staple. A fencing staple. Doesn't everybody have one in their pocket? Go, go, go. Whoa, yeah, Whoa. another one. Yep, keep going. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now this is where you got put two through full. Yeah. Aren't Rose? You glad you brought me along. I don't know what you were talking about, but I knew Joy <laughs> would be really handy to have along. Is that it? It's done. Is it gonna work? Ow. It looks like a saddlebag again. I don't know how much it's gonna hold. Looks like it's gonna rip. We could put duct tape on top of it. Well, oh yeah, cause it... We have duct tape? Joy. Do we have Joy duct tape? Joy has duct tape. <laughs> Joy has duct tape. We are on our way to collect the moose. So it's a bit of an epic trip. We're gonna take our horses up and over the ridge. There's some, uh, some pretty steep sections that have no trail and it's brushy. So we're just going to have to really pick our way through it. That's where we're going. Up and over there. No problem, Ab. So far. Great job, Ab. Can you get stickers after this? <laughs> pro like horse wranglers. Like a pro sticker? Certified pro. Oh, like a badge. Well, that was in like a bag. Yeah. Can you make us a badge, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you want to be able to like You want a that? badge. Yeah, we want to be able to flash it. Hey, you know what? Okay, hold on. This is a challenge. Anyone out there who's artistic, who's got time to make a badge for these pro wranglers, give these girls a badge. Stop there behind me. Steep stuff, eh? Yeah. Hey okay, girls, we are back on the trail, the marked trail. We're on the trail. Well, the horses made it up. We're almost at the top. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Look at this valley. This is madness. This is like a black diamond ski run. Double black. Hey? Double black diamond. <laughs> Look at those mountains. Those far mountains were crystal clear yesterday morning. And now they're all hazed in. And we are in northern BC. But that smoke is from California and Oregon. Anyways, we're way up here. 
for thinking about you guys down there. I hope it all, I hope it all goes well. Whew. Hey, that's cool, hey? Eh? There it is. One ran away already. <laughs> Isn't that neat? A couple cows, a couple cow caribous. There's the antlers, they haven't moved. There's a pile of meat under the spruce boughs, they haven't moved. No drama, no grizz, it's great. Yeah. Okay, let's move hey, in. What, Dad, what, Dad just explain, what if we stay here? Because there's more stuff to tie to and have lunch. We're not having lunch, we're loading up the horses. We're having lunch and then we're- <laughs> No, we're gonna load the horses and someone's gonna prepare bagels for us while we do that. Dad says we're not having lunch. Oh my goodness. This thing's got a bit of move to it. Oh, I'll tighten that. Well, look at that one. Oh yeah, well, it'll shift and loosen, but we can re-tighten. Okay, well, let's get the next horses on. Pull this guy out of the way. Well, Mech. Mech is not really confident when it comes to moose, but we got them loaded. We got the horses loaded. It's time to get out of here. One of the coolest horses in the world. Here we go. The long road back home. No problem. Good job, buddy. Hey, baby. Please. Maybe we should just let them get a little ways ahead for a few minutes. No, you shouldn't. Oh, what are you still doing here? <laughs> wow. So the horses need to be led. Yes. But in order to lead a horse, you have to be in front. Yes. But who sets the pace? The horse. The horse. Coming down those hills, especially like in the switchback area, like on the trail that cuts across, not a big deal, but when you have to switch back, those girls got knocked, Pushed like around. spilled yeah. more than once, because all the horse has got to do is kind of, you know, give you a little head nod or a, or a shoulder you check. A saddle bag. And, then, and yeah. then you just spill in front and then quickly scramble up so you don't get stepped on. And the horses, you know, they are as polite as, I mean, they're Canadian. <laughs> they're Canadian. Until you really yeah. push yourself, you don't know what you can do, right? <laughs> it gives you like a bigger zone of confidence, right? Like you know what you can do. So that's why I'm a good dad. <laughs> you push your kids that's to what the breaking point again and again and again. So long as they're fed, it seems like they're happy. <laughs> dad says no lunch! <laughs> We're trying to do something here! We don't have time to eat! Should I put a kettle on? He's okay. Boy. Boy. Yeah. Slow down, slow down. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah, he's okay. Easy boy. Okay, he likes the mud, no problem. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Good job, buddy. Well, spike camp all packed up. We decided to try and make a go and a single trip back out to the quads. And so, <laughs> We're loaded up. <laughs> Good job, Kaz. Kaz. Don't, don't put the end, because if you fall down, you'll never get up by yourself. <laughs> you're great. You're, you're a good sport, kiddo. Remember when we opened the store? Yeah. Did you guys know we have like a little goodlessness store? The first spoon was sold by one of our biggest fans and friends, Ava. The spoon. Hi, Ava. Was sold or bought? It was sold to Ava. Okay. The problem yeah. was it was being shipped to China. We shipped this package with no. a spoon in it to China in March. Oh, unclaimed, it says, unclaimed. You know what I'm wondering? 
You see this one? Gone away <laughs> is one of the reasons. <laughs> I'm thinking like, this is what happens to people in China who don't agree with the Communist Party, right? Like, I'm sorry, he's gone away. <laughs> How much of the COVID is on that packet that you were just touching? I don't like it when you do that normally, but this is... I don't normally do that. Come on, man. 